What is going on guys and today we're going to talk about a big important thing for those of you especially if you're going into the military in the army specifically anytime soon you need to know for sure the difference between enlisted and officer uniforms. All right, so first off, this video is going to be a part of like a little three video series that I'm going to do, which is going to be kind of all related to the uniform. So in this one, I wanted to explain the basic differences, right? The, the visually identifiable differences that you're going to see just really quickly whenever you look at an enlisted uniform, an officer uniform, so you can really tell the difference. And then once I kind of get those differences out of the way, I want to do a video on basically the different parts of the uniform, what actually certain things mean. I'm not going to be able to go through everything and what everything means because there's a whole bunch of different possibilities of things that you can do. And then I want to do a video talking about army ribbons and kind of what the basic things of what uh, you can expect as far as, you know, what are the most common ribbons you're going to get. How are you gonna get some of those ribbons and explaining that just a little bit. I obviously can't cover all that in one video, so I'm splitting that up. And in this video, talking about enlisted versus officer uniforms, I'm gonna talk about the OCP uniform, and I'm gonna talk about the Class A and the Class B uniform. All right, so first things first, you obviously gotta understand the rank structure of the Army. You gotta understand the enlisted ranks, which I'll put like right here, I guess, and then I'll put the officer ranks right here. You gotta understand the differences because if you don't understand that, especially for the OCP uniform, which I'm gonna talk about real quick, you're just not gonna be able to tell the difference because with the OCP uniform, right? So the combat uniform that the army has right now, there's really not much of a difference at all. The only difference is your rank. There's nothing in you, you don't wear a patch a certain way, you don't do anything special, you just have a different rank, right? In the center of your chest, you're gonna be able to see that rank, and then on the PC, the cover that you wear, you're gonna be able to see the rank on there, so you obviously have to know the rank structure to actually be able to identify. And then also, you can wear berets with the OCP uniform, and a quick way to identify that is if you are enlisted on your beret, there's like a little blue section, I don't even know what that blue section is called, but it's a little blue section or whatever. But on your beret, if you're enlisted, you're gonna put your unit crest there, which is the little crest, it's a pin, that designates and it signifies what unit you are in. And then officers, you're gonna wear your rank, right? So for me, as a second lieutenant, I'm gonna put my little gold bar right there. Whenever I was enlisted, I put my unit crest up on my uh, beret. So that's the only difference that it could be whenever it comes to the OCP uniform. And obviously, when you're wearing your ASUs, your Class A or your Class B, if you're wearing your beret, same goes for that. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna notice whenever it comes to the Class A uniform, when you're trying to see, is this guy an enlisted soldier or is this guy an officer? When you're looking at him in his dress uniform, the first thing you wanna look at if he's an officer is the shoulder boards, right? So I'll probably throw up a picture maybe of me and my little brothers. Um, me, I'm an officer in the Army Reserves. My little brother, he is an active duty enlisted soldier. So active duty enlisted, some people are like, you know, what are the differences and stuff? So I got that whenever I posted these pictures on Instagram. But that's the first thing you wanna look at. Officers have a little shoulder board is what it's called, which has your rank on it. Enlisted soldiers, you're gonna have the rank on your sleeves, right? On both of your sleeves, you're gonna have your rank. That's how you're gonna be able to tell the rank of the soldier. And obviously, when you can tell the rank, you're gonna be able to see if they are enlisted or not. Now, one of the other differences of enlisted and officer uniforms is if you are an enlisted soldier and you're wearing your class A's, you're gonna have your unit crest on your shoulders, right? So officers, we got the rank on our shoulders. Enlisted soldiers, you're gonna have your unit crest on this little strip right here. That's gonna designate your unit. You're gonna have that there. You're also gonna have it on your beret. Officers, you're just not gonna have the unit crest. You're not gonna have it anywhere, so that's really the difference there. The next thing is gonna be your branch of service, right? So this is another different feature as far as uniform goes for enlisted versus officer. When you are enlisted, you're gonna be wearing it on your right chest above your name tape, above where you might see some unit ribbons, right? So it's gonna be right here. Officers, it's not gonna be right there. It's gonna be on your collars, right? So again, I'm gonna throw up some pictures and everything. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, different arrows pointing to things so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But officers, you wear that on your collar. Enlisted soldiers, you wear it on your chest. So one of the other things that you guys might notice whenever you're looking at enlisted and officer uniforms, and if you're wanting to look real quick, and this is something you can actually see if somebody has been in the military for a certain period of time, and that is on your sleeves, right? So on both of your sleeves, if you are enlisted, 
you, and you've been deployed overseas for at least six months. I think it's like the overseas ribbon on your, or, or overseas stripes on your right wrist, which means if you have been overseas for six months or longer in a combat environment, you're gonna get a little stripe on your right sleeve. Officers, you get that, but the difference here is on your left sleeve, those are gonna be your years of service stripes. So every three years, if you are enlisted, you're gonna get one of those. You're gonna get a stripe. It's kind of like a little diagonal strip. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. If you're an officer, you don't get those, right? So you're just not gonna have any of those on your sleeves. The other thing that officers don't have on their uniforms is marksmanship badges. This is something that I honestly didn't know until I commissioned as an officer. I thought, I never, I, I never really actually thought about it, but I just thought, you know, you could do it. Because there is no regulation. There is no regulation that says the Army officers should not wear marksmanship badges, are not allowed to wear marksmanship badges. But your marksmanship badges go on your left chest. If you, you know, have your rifle marksmanship badge, your grenade rifle marksmanship badge, you have your pistol marksmanship badge, all those, if you're enlisted, you're going to be wearing those. If you're an officer, you're not going to wear any of them. Apparently it has something to do with, you know, officers are supposed to be experts, so we don't wear them. It's just a little tradition that the army has. That's one big difference. Another thing the officers don't wear in the uniform. The next difference that I want to mention only applies sometimes, and that has to do with the pants, right? So when you look at a uniform, you're going to see some uniforms with, with little yellow lines, yellow stripes down your pants, and you're going to see some uniforms that don't have that. And the difference here is number one, lower enlisted soldiers do not have the stripe. If you're an E1 to an E4, you're not gonna have a yellow stripe on your pants. But if you're an NCO and you are an officer and or you are an officer, you're gonna have the stripe on your pants. So this isn't really so much an enlisted versus officer thing, but it's more of like a lower enlisted, lower ranking army soldier versus the higher ranking soldiers. And higher ranking could be NCO or a commissioned officer, AKA just normal. One more thing that I almost forgot to mention whenever it comes to officer versus enlisted uniforms is if you pay attention to the sleeves, right? If you are an enlisted soldier, the little yellow stripe on your sleeve that goes around your entire sleeve is just gonna be a thin yellow stripe. When you're an officer, that yellow stripe is gonna be a little bit thicker and it's also gonna have a colored band inside of it. That color band dignifies or signifies your branch of service that you are an officer. I am a signal officer, so my little color is kind of like a orangish color. Now the last thing that is different whenever it comes to the enlisted versus officer uniforms that I want to talk about is the hats, the caps, the service caps, whatever you want to call it. You know, civilians, you just understand hats. So the hat that you're going to be wearing with your uniform, there's a little bit of a difference there. When you are an officer, it's going to look a little bit different than when you are enlisted. Obviously the beret, I've talked about that, that applies. You know, officers, you just wear the rank, enlisted soldiers, you wear your unit crest but you have caps that you wear, which I probably put as like the thumbnail of this video. I'm wearing some weird hat. My little brother's wearing a beret that like, what's the deal there, right? So if you are an NCO, right? If you are an NCO, you do get, you do get to have a cap that you can wear, but it is going to look different than the officer cap, which I will throw up some pictures right here just to help you guys out because there's no possible way I could really explain the differences. But the big difference here is if you're an officer similar to the like wrist stripe that's going to designate which um, branch the officer is, it's gonna be around the cap as well, right? So that's gonna be that big difference there. You can easily see by looking at their cover what branch that they are in as an officer. Now obviously you don't really have to remember all the different colors that an officer's branch could be, but you can kind of remember an infantry officer has got that little blue stripe, right? An infantry officer, blue stripe, Everybody else is just not infantry. Me, myself, like I said before, I have like a little orange thing. I'm a signal officer, so it's like a little orange stripe that I wear that'll be on my sleeve. Um, if I can find a good picture that kind of shows you guys all of them, I'll throw it up right here so you can see all the different colors for all the different branches of service in the Army. Now that is gonna be it for this video. I kind of covered the big basic differences of enlisted versus officer uniforms. First off, you know, you gotta make sure you pay attention to those shoulder boards. That's the really big identifier. Is this an enlisted soldier? Is this an officer? That's like a huge thing. Obviously you can see by the rank, but I do hope this video helped you guys out. Make sure you guys stay tuned if you're curious about what all of the different stuff means on the actual uniform and then what some of the different ribbons mean and how you can actually get certain ribbons in the army. So if you made it in this video, hit that like button. That'd be awesome. If you want to check out some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That would be even better. Hit the notification bell button if you just want to really make my day. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. 
and I will see you later. Drop.